due to technical problems and um, other unfortunateness, uh, we've had to abandon Johan, and we've got to start again. So we've picked a random explorer, and we will see how we go. We're going to start. Who have we got? Don't know yet. We will go to the Unseen Jungle. So we have Nikola Tesla, who has a Parsi trader, so he's good with dealing with, and a cook. So that means we should be fighting things. We're good at trading things with villagers, and um, we we can cook food. So we also need to find his wife in the village, and let's go. Always seem to be looking for wives at the start. Okay, so begin and continue. We also have more sanity, really. Ah, right. So Nikola Tesla gives us more sanity. We've also got the Tesla gun, which gives us a special dice combo. Uh, I've, however, heard that it is not a very good gun. So we enter the hut. We can ask for a cleansing or we can trade. I don't think we want anything at the moment. But we've got a few different things that we can buy from this fella. So... Um, we can buy all sorts of strange mushrooms and we can buy tomes. So this is, uh, these cost more here. So we could also have sold those things for more here. Uh, none of these things are worth extra, but we could buy one of these. World creation gives us a portal. I kind of want that. So if I were to sell a dynamite and a fireworks, we could get that. It's a deal. And that's it. I don't think we want anything else from there. Okay, let's see. If I go up here. We can go into the cave. Oh, hey, um, who do we want to boost? We've got no torches is the problem with the cave. We've got a 50-50, we've got, no, we've got, um, a 75 chance, 75 percent, that seems about right. Whatever, this is our first, uh, trip, so if things go badly, we are actually not too bad off. We're going to the cave, we don't get injured, and again, we've got a 75% chance of this working out. We'll send our trader in, and it, yep, they get through, no worries, and we loot, oh, another po tome of uh, Earth Creation, and a metal cube. I don't know what the metal cube does, I'm really curious as to what that could do. Let's get to the village that we need to go to. And we'll go here, there. And end of the village, we encounter a native tribe, their reverence of the spirit world. Um, the native introduced herself as Dacofame, and she's the wife that we need to escort to London. We'll, we'll get bonus standing as a result, which also allows us to stay in the village. But we can also recruit, which is kind of what I want to do. I want to recruit myself one shaman. I think they're really good for fighting, for um, resting. Uh, sorry, not for resting, for fighting, actually. I think they are specifically really good for fighting. I probably should have boosted my uh, trader so I could get more things more cheaply here. Um, I kind of want to get the jewels. I kind of want to get many things, actually. We could get the spear, which would allow us to fight more. Um, the Tesla gun is worth basically nothing here. So, not going to trade that. We'll probably actually try and use it. But from what I've heard, it's not very good. Um, so, what can we afford? Can we afford anything? Nothing here that will, um, will allow us to recover sanity. So, really, is there anything I want? 
that's worth five. Might as well get a horn flute while we're at it. We'll also rest in the village. Um, someone gave us an offer. He told us he knew of a location far from here, which would be worthwhile for an ex expedition. He wanted payment for this. Okay, sure. I'll pay him in fireworks. That sounds lovely. It's a deal. We could try and steal the idol if we were jerks, but all right, an elephant with a awe-inspiring array of so a region with an awe-inspiring array of elephant graveyards was situated. However, the appearance of fierce beasts that uh, protected the area. We marked a spot on map our map for our next expedition. Okay, great. So we get a bit more sanity, we lose some standing, and let us leave. Yeah, it looks like they, they're they okay with us. They're not unhappy with us, but they're not that keen for us to stay. And she wants us to go to a shrine. That is no problem. We do need to go north eventually, but I guess we'll go to the shrine. Yeah, it's definitely north. Okay. Um, you are superstitious. You've got a good reputation. And you boost mushrooms. You... So we've got a number of people that are superstitious. We'll examine the shrine. And we will enter the shrine and investigate the altar. So the thing is, you kind of have to take things from shrines. Gotta admit... Not don't like the fact that it hurts your standing with the natives, but you really do need to do it. And so now we are gonna rush back to the ship and dump these in it. And that's then we can just kinda rest at the ship. Wait, how does this work out? Term of homebound, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna return to the ship and access the storage. And I'm also, while I'm at it, going to rest overnight and see. Maybe if I pay special attention to the aesthetic, that would be good. But like, what happens if I do this? Go back to the expedition. And then we want to go north. Let's go all the way north. I don't think we want to actually stop off at anything. Wow, our ship... Our stash was destroyed. Really? It can do that? I mean, our ship was destroyed. Surely that is an even bigger problem, right? So we looted that temple for nothing. Fine. New. New to me that that can happen. But also kind of annoying that it just straight up destroys your ship. How does it destroy a ship? It is water. Explore unwanted animal tracks, that's fine. So animal tracks, which could give us unwanted attention. I got no problem with that. Is there anything we can do here to level people? No. And we get valuable equipment, including red berries, sour, nutritious, energizing. We definitely need that. The flares, less so, but we'll take them anyway. And we got wildlife. Hey, hyenas. Okay, let us improve our cook. Uh, what I want to do is I want to fight ya. And we got ourselves some butterflies, and now we fight. You hyena! Okay, so this we have a small chance of having things happen with. But alternating beam! Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do right of unity, which gives us a shield. And then, boom, alternating beam. We kill it, we take its stuff, and we've got things that are good for trading, which hopefully will help us repair our relationship with the natives. Um, we can cook this food and eat it. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Delicious, not delicious. What the hell would that even mean? Anyway, and we'll eat these delicious red berries. And we'll go up. And it must be due east. Ugh, what are you? 
Explore this place. Rest overnight. Chester. Okay. We settled down. One soul was staring back from the abyss. Even the warming flames of the campfire did not to ease our minds. I was writing into the, my journal when I heard the group laughing about something. Curious, I listened to them and noticed to my disappointment that Dacofame was mocking my quest for glory. The group immediately hushed when they noticed me, but they, I feared my credibility was already tarnished. Let us let it slip and rest. Like, I, I think that's fine. Whatever. And rest overnight again. And they each share their information about their childhoods. So that's fine. Again, I don't think it's a big deal. And let's leave. We'll head over here so we can get ourselves a butterfly. And look at this. There's a huge chasm to the north. And we need to go east. I mean, surely we must be pretty close now. Okay. We'll head here. And that way we can also fight some hyenas. Attack the hyena! Ha ha! Okay. So. Shield and heal. Precise attack. And we've got the defensive beam. So we'll kill one and do a small amount of self damage. End round. The hyena attacks and does nothing. This is why I really like having shamans, by the way. Because they're so good at just getting a small amount of. Uh, uh, a small amount of healing, which basically allows me to get away with doing a lot more. Okay, so we can just precise attack the hyena. The hyena dies, we kill it, we take its stuff. Um, this expires at the end of the expedition, so we might as well just cook it and eat it. Mm -mm -mm, I'm probably going to try and promote the cook if I can. And so we'll just go here. Wait, just here. Thank you. Travel one step and explore. Enter the pyramid and convince Jebby to stay with the trek. No, this is why I didn't improve that guy, by the way. Because there was always a chance that he could stay, which he did. What a jerk. Alrighty. So we got through. We made it to the pyramid. We came second, which gives us a small amount of fame. And you can kind of see where the days are, and you can see our trek, although it doesn't quite cover the water. Whatever. And finish expedition. It doesn't explain how we get home when the ship was destroyed. But we can get Explosions Expert, which increases the range of dynamite. Don't want it. Climber or Healer? Ooh, I'm going to get Healer. If I'm going to fight, I want Healer. That allows me to heal wounds without needing to rely so much on med kits. So Crowley got home, Frederick got home, Lovelace and da Charles Darwin and we, Nikola Tesla, return home. So this is worth 20 fame. Really? Okay, that's kind of interesting. I should really... Oh right, sorry. The butterfly collection is worth 20 fame or 10 funds. We will gift that, and then we will sell the pelts and the teeth. Unfortunately, the artifacts that we actually recovered from desecrating the shrine uh, were lost forever. But we did get advice about a new area, so I'm pretty keen to find out more about that, which we will next time. Until then... Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.